Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. I have one of the. No. The best Nuka Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck, I've won the Nuka Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. Yep, I'm the president, the recording secretary, and the treasurer. Once a year, we gather here in Girder Shade to have a cook off using Nuka Cola and the recipe. Last year, I won with my poached roach and Nuka sauce. Delicious. Well, only two right now, me and Ronald. But membership is open to the public. You can join if you like. Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. He's a darling, always watching out for me, and more importantly, keeping the collection safe. Like once, there were these raiders that came by. There were three of them, and their leader was named, like, Lugnut or something. So they, like, kicked in Ronald's door, and he was like, blam, with his gun, and one of them got all splattered. Then the other one tried to, like, hit him all in his head with some club. And Ronald was so cool how he dodged it and shot the guy in the face. Then the lug nut guy was in Ronald's face with the I'll kick your ass stuff and Ronald was like hell no and he punched the Oh sorry I get carried away sometimes Well you should definitely talk to Ronald I bet he'd like to meet you he's such a sweetheart I sure did Want to take it now How can you resist This stuff is so cool Well, come on, then. Let me show you around. But no free Nuka-Cola until the end of the tour. When Nuka-Cola was invented by John Caleb Braverton in 2044, it quickly became the world's most popular soft drink. The Wonder Drink soon drew a dedicated following which prompted the Nuka-Cola Corporation to release many promotional items like these. By 2067, a Nuka-Cola machine such as this rare, pristine model could be found on almost every street in America. Even in today's crazy world, Nuka-Cola is still the number one choice of refreshment among Armageddon survivors. As promised, here's a little pick-me-up. An ice-cold Nuka-Cola. Just look at the frost on the bottle. So cold and delicious. Pardon me. <clears throat> I tend to lose myself when I hold on to a Nuka-Cola. Before I get to the little proposition I have for you, let me tell you a little bit about Nuka-Cola Quantum. Well, right before the bombs fell, the good folks at Nuka-Cola developed what they hoped was an improvement on the original formula. Calling it Nuka-Cola Quantum, it was said to have twice the calories, twice the carbohydrates, twice the caffeine, and twice the taste! Well, the flavor certainly wasn't the issue. The public was just split on the unique feature of the Quantum's appearance. You see, to make it stand out on store shelves and to give... The effect was a drink that not only boosted your energy, but also glowed with a bright blue light. Oh no, only ever so mildly. No ill effects were ever recorded. Well, it does have the unique property of making your... Um, 
your pea glow. I love the stuff! I can't get enough of it! I thought I was hooked on regular Nuka Cola, but the Quantum beats it by a long shot. I've got to have more! That's right. You bring me Nuka Cola Quantum, and I pay you. Handsomely, I might add. For every bottle you bring me, I pay you some caps. You know, for expenses. But if you're super cool and find like enough bottles to fill my Nuka Cola machine, 30 and all, I've got a super secret cool prize for you. Oh, okay. I have a schematic for the Nuka Grenade, the only one in the whole Capital Wasteland. Bring me the bottles, and it's yours. Imagine the look on the target's face when they are burning alive in an effervescent explosion of cola and fruit flavors. So, what do you say? Will you bring me the bottles? Oh, goody! I can taste the quantum already. Good luck to you, sweetie. Well, to the east, there are some nasty raiders in Evergreen Mills. I'd stay away from there if I were you. Luckily, we're kind of hidden here under the old highway, so no one bothers us. I don't know a whole lot about weapons, but I do know that it's more powerful than a regular grenade. It explodes in a huge blue flame, too. How cool is that? Well, besides what I've already told you, not much. They were working on a way to prevent the glow from remaining once it passed through a person's system but it was never perfected. I heard that the stuff they use to make it glow and give it that kick has a shelf life of over a thousand years. Should make the bottles easier to spot. Well, I, I guess so. I heard that sometimes the radiation would remain in people's systems, but only in a few test cases. All you need is a little rat away and poof, the isotope is gone. Well, the bottles are glass, just like regular Nuka-Cola, except the glass is clear. That way, the glowy stuff inside shows through. You'll know it when you see it. Oh my! It's like a tidal wave of flavor washing all over your body! Your head spins, but everything is clear at the same time! It's quite a rush! <laughs> Addicted? Why would you say that? I can stop drinking it any time I want. That's so silly to think I would get hooked on the most delicious soft drink ever devised by man. Okay, shoot. In fact, I do. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? Your best bet would be to find the ruins of the DC Nuka-Cola bottling facility. Find the shipping manifests inside. With them in hand, you should have a good clue as to where the quantum was delivered. While you're there, you may even be able to find some bottles of quantum. That's okay. Take your time and don't break the bottles.
Anything I can do to help? Just ask. Hey, pal, what were you doing in Sierra's place? Because I'm making sure that no one messes with her. She's my girl, you know. Well, that's likely because it's none of anyone's business but ours. She's one hot lady, though, am I right? Wow, you are as naive as you look. How do I put it? I'd love to do the horizontal bop with her, you know, plow her bean field. Come on, kid. New to this stuff, huh, kid? Well, let's just say that she has something I want to get a hold of. That's where you enter the picture. I know she's asked you to find her some Nuka-Cola Quantum. Heck, she asks everyone that wanders through here. What I'm proposing is you still look for the drinks, but instead of bringing it to her, you bring it to me. She'll be so impressed that I got all the Nuka-Cola for her, she'll melt in my arms like butter. I pay you the same she was going to pay, and everyone's happy. Well, look. Don't answer me now, just keep it in mind. If you find some, and you've had a change of heart, I'll still buy them. Oh, and I wouldn't bother running back to Sierra and warning her. She won't even understand what you're talking about. She may be a hottie, but she's a bit vacant in the smarts department. Nothing beats a taste, the taste that'll knock you out. If you're here with some quantum, I have caps with your name on them. You've done it! My machine is finally full! Well, like I promised, here's the schematic for the Nuka Grenade. You've sure earned it! If you find any more bottles, be sure and bring them by. I'll be glad to keep paying for them. What? My friend, you are at the ass end of the Capital Wasteland. If it weren't for Sierra, I'd be out of here. One thing I can tell you is stay the hell away from the Dunwich Building to the south. That place is bad mojo. I don't know what that place is about, but I hear about weird shit going on. Whatever.
can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. What are you looking at? What are you looking at? I thought I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps, and I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renders an official business only. Is that so? And why should I believe that? You ever kill a ghoul before? Is that so? Then I'm sure you can handle yourself out there in the wasteland just fine. Are you done wasting my time? Perhaps you'll fit in around here better than I thought. All right, I'll take your money. But don't press your luck. I got my eye on you. Don't bother Tenpenny or the other residents. If you so much as sneeze in the wrong direction, I'll gut you. Yes, dear. You got something to say? That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. He and his kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. You're out of line. Those filthy bitches can stay living in those metro tunnels. They'll move in here over my dead body. Are you threatening me? You're obviously an idiot, so I'll let that one slide. But I'm warning you, I won't hesitate to kill you if I have to. Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart, hmm? How's 500 bottle caps sound? Payable upon termination of that damn ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? And here, you can take this rifle and ammo. But you better not screw this up. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station metro tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. 
Try going through the train yard. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try and talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first and ask questions later. <laughs> 